Hi, Jaguars. Today I'm going to show you how to apply for the internship grant. Hopefully you've had some time to review the guide and all of the eligible information as well as the steps on how to apply. So let's get started. So as you can see here, you will need to log into Handshake. So as I've logged into Handshake already, you're going to navigate over to the Career Center tab. Once you've gone to Career Center, you're going to go to the Experiences section right here, Experiences. Click on Experiences, and it will open you up, open you up to the Experience section. Now, you may or may not have anything already um, in this section, uh, but if you don't, it's okay. You want to submit an experience. And you can do it here, or you can do it down here in this blue button. So submit an experience. The next step you're going to do is you're going to select an experience template. So when you click on the box, what will show up are all of the different experience templates uh, that we have. You're going to select the internship grant, interns helping invest potential. From there, you're going to select the term. That is the semester that you are applying. So let's go ahead and select spring 2024 or whatever term that you're watching this video in. Next is gonna be the organization. This is the organization that you're working for. Now it may or may not come on this populated list, but as this is a test, let's just do a test organization. From here, you want to include a location if it doesn't already populate. Um, the industry isn't uh, required, but it might populate there. We also need a phone number. All right, so you would put in the phone number of the organization as well as an email. From there, you want to select the position title or you can choose from a list. So if your internship has a specific title, maybe it's like a clinical practitioner or you know physical therapy specialist or something like that, whatever title, or if it's just intern, that is fine to include as well. Also, what type of employment it is. Is it full-time, part-time, seasonal? If it is just for one semester, you might select seasonal. Um, if it's up to you know, 20 or 30 hours a week, you might select part-time, however you'd like to select there. And then you wanna include your salary. Now, if you're applying for the internship grant, your salary is likely zero. <laughs> so you would just put zero here and that would be hourly. Uh, but you must include a salary, okay? So salary can be hourly, monthly, yearly. Um, again, for internships, it's typically hourly or monthly. Now, if it is a stipend, you can put in what the uh, stipend amount is and maybe just put monthly or yearly as the total amount. So that's possible too. Now, you can also just add this experience directly to your Handshake profile by selecting this right here. So then that limits the amount of work you have to do on updating your Handshake profile. Next, you would want to uh, include your class professor's uh, information here. So um, go ahead and make sure that you have their email address, what their first and last name is going to be. Um, you don't need to have their title or their phone number, but we at least need their email and their first and last name. Then you wanna include your site supervisor's information. So again, you're going to need to know who your site supervisor is, their name and their email address as well. So go ahead and put that information in here also. From there, you're gonna make sure that you're uh, reviewing again the requirements, that you meet all of the requirements. You want to then include your Jaguar um, number here. You also uh, want to include your preferred phone number and your preferred email address. This is how I'm going to uh, email you directly. So it doesn't have to be your Jaguar email. It can just be um, you know, a, a personal email address or anything like that. Um, then you also want to put in what uh, class you're taking. Also, your again, your site supervisor's full name needs to be included here as well. Now we're collecting all this information multiple times because of the way the program is set up. Your site um, supervisor's phone number, so you could provide it uh, here, but it must be here as well. And then their email is again. 
Also, we need to know how many hours per week that you plan on working. Um, typically, students who are doing 100 hours, maybe 150, you might be doing about 10 to 15 hours per week. You also want to make sure that you uh, review and understand your comp compensation. So again, even though you reported the salary above, um, if you do have one of these others, then we would want you to select those. Now, uh, part of the application process and your essay, as you should have read in the application guide, is um, to select two to three NACE career competencies that you're going to be implementing in your internship. So you, we want you to select those here. And the reason is, is because we're going to be tracking and finding out how you've been doing and uh, working on those different skill sets during your internship and throughout uh, this internship grant. So let's just pick critical thinking and professionalism. Also, we want to acknowledge that you are familiar with and understand about what you need to upload uh, in terms of this. So make sure that you attach your internship description, um, or if it's a co contract listing, or if it's goals or projects, however you have it downloaded in PDF format. Also attach your essay in a PDF format, format and upload to those to Handshake, okay? So make sure that you're very uh, aware too and remembering that this is very competitive so your essay does make a difference. Then you are going to be complete from here and you're going to submit the experience. So once you've submitted your experience, this is how what the screen you'll see. So you'll be able to then attach your items. So go ahead and um, select new attachment. And then from there, you'll be able to say what it is. Is it your resume? Is it the, um, it, uh, the internship description? And then you just choose files from your computer, uh, however you have them saved, and then just create that attachment that way. So that is all of the information about um, selecting your experience. Uh, from there, uh, we will be in touch about if you are missing any of the required uh, things for your application uh, and what the next steps in the process will be. We hope this has been helpful. And if you do have questions after reviewing the guide and after reviewing this video, then please feel free to contact the May Center. Thank you so much. Have a great day.